Hi, this is Adam from Base Miami. Thank you for subscribing and watching the Base Rabbi YouTube channel. We're currently in the month of Elul, and the calendar cycle is a beautiful cycle that not only mirrors the, the pathway and the journey of life itself, starting from Tishrei and ending with Elul, but part of that journey and part of that experience of life is the ebbs and flows of a connection with, with God, with the divine, with the world outside of ourselves. And the month of Elul is this time when we're, we are at the most intimate relationship and the most intimate point between us and God. There's a beautiful teaching that Elul, the name of the month, is the acronym for Anila Dodiva Dodili. I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. And it's this moment, it's this space of deep intimacy between us and God. There's this idea that Elul is the month when the parable that's talked about is that the king is in the field. That God comes, from, comes down from the loftiest and furthest reaching concepts of our, of our experience of the divine and comes down to the field. That the king leaves the castle and comes into the field. And we can experience that. We understand what it's like to be in a field. It's, a field is, is the most earthly of, of manifestations of the concept of the world around us. We live and we work and we exist in the field of existence. So coming down to the field is a place where we can really connect with God in a very deep and intimate space. And the month of Elul is all about that. It's about having this deep, intimate connection with God. There's a beautiful teaching in Likutei Halachot which talks about the concept of tshuva and how to read and think about tshuva. Tishrei is all about tshuva. It's the beginning of the year. And what it says in this teaching is, tshuva is really tashuv he. It's the returning of the he. So the he, in a lot of different teachings, is, it has a long list of different meanings and understandings. But tashuv he, the returning of the he, is the idea of taking, of returning God to the loftiest of realms. That we go from this place and space of Elul, where we have this deep and intimate connection in the field, in the, in the, place where we're connecting with God and we're returning God to the loftiest of realms. We return he, tashuv he, we're returning the hay back up to the to the ungraspable and un, unapproachable lofty realms, which we experience with the Yamim Noreim, the high holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And it's a really, it's a profound lesson and teaching that throughout the calendar year and throughout life itself, there are moments and times when we're connected and moments and times when we're not, and moments when we long for connection and times when we don't feel connected and all of that is a natural progression and, and pathway and experience of life. But when we come to the end of the year, when we come to Elul, when we get to that moment into that space where we're in our most intimate connection with God, right after that we start the year again with Tashuv He, with returning God to a place where it's unapproachable. And it's a beautiful imagery and concept of thinking about how Elul is this time when not only is God close to us, but we're close to God. And then come the high holidays, we, we kind of push God back up into those lofty realms and God takes his seat on his throne. Melech Malchei Hamlachim, it's Avinu Malkeinu, it's all those things where God is above and beyond and un unreachable and unapproachable so that we can begin the journey again and we can begin our new year again seeking after that connection and seeking after that development and the ebbs and flows that come with the relationship with God. The calendar and our entire religious framework is there to mirror and provide insight into the experience of life itself. So Elul being Anila Dodiva Dodili, I am my beloved and my beloved is mine, the intimate connection between two partners journeying through the experience of life. There are times when we're close to people and times when we're removed from people and times when we're distanced from people and all of those times are part of the natural progression of relationships and development for not only individuals but relationships as well. And that perspective and that outlook and that insight into the ebbs and flows of relationships is transformed and translated and transmitted into the relationship and onto the relationship that we have with God or that we seek or strive to have with God.